What's going on y'all? It's your boy Turn Them Wheels. Hope you're having a great day. Looking at another Top Don product. It's an excellent product. It's the uh, <clears throat> upgraded one over the Arta Diag 500. It's going to be the Top Don Arta Diag 600S. Mid-range, mid-level kind of diagnostic tool. Beyond the basics, Top Don technology was, of course, company limited. I'm going to open it up, check it out. Opens up pretty nice, nice bag, a carrying case. So, open it up right here. Open that side. Looks like we have, I believe, USB type C to USB A. Set that to the side. Here we have the OBD2 to this port. Kind of looks like a VGA, I'm not sure. Okay, set that to the side. And then here's the main unit. Kind of in there pretty good. A little more paperwork. Probably don't need it. I'll shove it back in there. Yep. All right, so here's the main unit. It's kind of got a little glare. Uh, you got your OK button up, down, left, right, back button. Nice little grips right here. Uh, it's armor protected, so rubberized. So it's protected there. Here's where you plug this in. Power button. No stand on the back. It's your mid-level tool. It's not going to be your more high-level tool with the stand or steering wheel holder. Uh, OBD2 output, USB-C input, top-down 2023. Kind of little things right here. Go ahead and power it on. See if it has some juice. And the good thing is it does have some juice. So... Let that power up. All right, so we got it set up. Looks like we have a uh, diagnostics, OBD2, EOBD, inspection slash maintenance, library, update, maintenance, battery voltage, folder, user info. So this one has a little more resets than the 500. Uh, so if you go into the maintenance mode, it has an oil reset, a throttle or uh, <clears throat> throttle body slash idle reset, electronic parking brake, uh, I believe steering angle sensor, diesel particulate filter, TPMS, injector, BMS, battery battery module system, and the ABS. So you can reset those. Some they call them service resets or maintenance. Uh, update. So you can see which particular ones have it here. What vehicle manufacturers. So let's see, common library. Okay. And I currently have a General Motors vehicle, so I'm gonna do Chevrolet. So it'll download the Chevrolet and the General Motors at the same time. So once you click on that one, see it pulls the GM. GMC, General Motors, Chevrolet, all the same thing on this system, so. I'll go back. Battery voltage, that'll show you the battery voltage with the voltage and the time. Folder, reports, quick support, Chrome, a couple different things, user info, uh, firmware update. VCI update. You can do your shop info, system update. I believe I already did the system upgrade. Yeah, V1.12. Okay. Uh, diagnostic, diagnostic trouble code library, service bulletins, your DLC or OBD2 port location. Warning light, it tells you what they are. Uh, inspection, these have to be whenever you're plugged into the vehicle. Uh, but it looks like it does have auto VIN. Auto VIN is super cool. It pulls it so you don't have to do all the make, model, and year. So let me get it plugged into a vehicle. All right, so I got this one plugged in, and it says charging rapidly. 
So what we can do, the inspection slash maintenance, see if it's ready for the annual inspection. E O B D. Okay, let's try that one. So some of the monitors. Okay. Let's check this other one. Usually it's supposed to pull it automatic. It's only checking those, okay. Let's try the last one. Oh yeah, that one looks a little better. It's not really showing those. Let's go into diagnostics. Uh, going through auto VIN. Pulls it pretty fast. It's got the battery voltage right there. I'll give it a second. Manual transfer case, no. Navigation, auto HVAC. With trailer brake under, without. So, let's see. Let's see what all it shows. It's loading pretty quick. It's spinning. I had the R to Diag 900, uh, but someone took it, and this little blue thing was uh, very similar. The little symbol. To that one uh, so you can go to auto scan control unit hot functions let's go into hot functions so it gives you oil reset electronic parking brake this truck don't have electronic parking brake uh, you can breed the <clears throat> bleed the brake sorry or brake bleed injector I think that's like if you're coding an injector oh fuel injector balance so you can do that test uh, throttle, idle learn reset, throttle position, throttle sweep. And then you can go into TPMS, the learning mode, copy and paste. So like I said, this one kind of gives you more little special service functions, maintenance or hot functions compared to the 500. It's the upgraded version control unit. You can go into these four modules, engine control module, transmission control module, electronic brake control module, and then the airbag module. Pretty cool. We're going through auto scan. It's going to be pretty fast because it's only picking up these four modules. Pretty easy to use. Um, let's see. So you can pull some pretty good live data. Uh, let's see. It's showing right around zero. It's kind of right around where you want it. Fuel trim learn. Short term, long term, oxygen sensors. Pretty cool. It pulls the data at a pretty good speed. Hot open loop, catalytic converter protection. Pretty good tool, guys. If you're looking to step up from a basic uh, code reader, this one's going to be your next best upgrade. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. Hope you can like, comment, subscribe.